Thank you very much. Uh, and I want to thank the ranking member, my good friend from Alabama, for yielding me the time. I would also like to thank him for his leadership on our committee over the past year. Uh, I rise today in support of the Republican substitute. My colleagues have a choice today. Do they want to perpetuate bailouts and continue to put taxpayers at risk? Or will they support the Republican substitute that ends bailouts? There's two features of this bill I'm going to address. The substitute creates a new chapter of the bankruptcy code. This new section, Chapter 14, will allow for an expedient resolution of failing firms, as there will be trained personnel who have the necessary skills to ensure an efficient resolution. This is not Chapter 7 or Chapter 11, as in the discussion we had in the committee, as my friends on the other side of the aisle have asserted. Although the bill does not prohibit a non-bank financial firm from pursuing these chapters, if they so wish. There is no taxpayer-funded bailout fund in our amendment. It is straightforward for all market participants. If you take on too much risk and fail, then you go through an expedited bankruptcy. The taxpayers will not pick up the tab. This is fair to all market participants, and it's fair to the taxpayer. And I urge my colleagues to join us in ending this, ending the bailouts. Another important section of the Republican substitute is that we address reforms to the GSEs, Fannie and Freddie. While there may not be consensus on the reforms proposed, this body must have an honest discussion about the future of these two entities and what role, if any, government should play. After all, a major component of the financial crisis was the failure of these two entities. To ignore their reform in a, refor in a financial reform package is irresponsible. I would urge support for the Republican substitute. This is the financial reform package that we need. I yield back. The gentlewoman yields.